I'm Bill Mays with a Stepping Stone Bible Devotional Thought brought to you on behalf of the Crumb Church of Christ. Now, today's Stepping Stone on this Wednesday, May the 10th of the year 2023 is entitled, Games Church People Play. And we begin our time of study with an old joke story. A man says to his wife, I'm not going to church services this morning. And the wife said, give me two reasons why you shouldn't. The man said, number one, I don't like the people there in that church. And number two, they don't like me. And the wife said, all right, you've given me two reasons why you don't want to go. Now I'm going to give you two reasons why you should go. First, the Bible teaches you not to forsake this assembling together. And second... You're the preacher. Well, you don't have to worry about me going to worship with the saints each Lord's Day. But you do wonder about some people. They treat their attendance almost like playing a game. They actually have to decide each Sunday whether or not they are going to worship with the saints. Better are the many Christians who have made a one-time decision when they were baptized to regularly assemble with the saints. There are several games that some church people play, such as tag. This is a real fun game. It puts the preacher at a disadvantage where the odds are about a thousand to one. The rules are very simple. Only one, every time you visit me at home or contact me by phone, email, or text message, 
I'll come to services. Tag me at home and I will tag you in the pulpit. Another game is drop the handkerchief. In this game, a person accepts a responsibility, a job to do. And then they go around the circle till they can drop that responsibility behind some other unsuspecting person. And then they run very fast, usually out of town each Sunday, so they will not get caught again. Another game is hide and seek. This is a game with lots of excitement and personal satisfaction. It goes like this. A member of the church hides in a bed in a room at the end of a long corridor in the upper floor of a hospital. The object is for the preacher, the elders, and the rest of the church members to find him or her. Now, it's against the rules for anyone to tell the church office or the preacher or the elders that this person is in the hospital. And if the preacher, the elders, and the rest of the church family lose the game, the member enjoys the victory of telling everyone, I was in the hospital for two weeks, and the preacher, nor the elders, nor anyone else from the church came to see me. Another game is kickball. That's B-A-W-L. The purpose of this game seems to be to demoralize the whole church. And it only takes a small team. The object is kick about everything that is done and then ball if you're asked to help the situation. There are other games that some people play, such as blame it, knock it, Kill it. But what did Paul say about playing certain kinds of games? Let us now read 1 Corinthians 10. And we're going to read from verse 7 to verse 12. Here we find, Do not be idolaters. As some of them were, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. Nor are we to commit sexual immorality as some of them did in 20,000 or 23,000 fell in one day. Nor are we to put the Lord to the test as some of them did and were killed by the snakes. Nor grumble as some of them did and were killed by the destroyer. Now all these things happened to them as an example and they were written for our instruction upon whom the ends of the ages have come. Therefore, let the one who thinks he stands watch out that he does not fall. Verse 12, watch out lest you fall. And so I challenge you, never be guilty of playing any of these so-called games with the church that I have just mentioned. Now, if the Crumb Church of Christ can be of any help to you spiritually, please go to this website, find their email address, and let them know what they can do to help you to draw closer to Jesus Christ and His Word. I also want to invite you to the services of the Crumb Church of Christ there in Crumb that meets weekly at 319 North 3rd Street. They meet for Sunday Bible study at 9.30 a.m. and Sunday worship at 10.30 a.m. And Wednesday Bible study, such as this evening, at 6.45 p.m. God bless. Be well. And I hope you will choose again next week to join us for another Stepping Stone Bible devotional.